Hello, viewer. I'm known as Mug420, and welcome back to the Kagro Deception 2 Let's Play. Now, where we last left off, we we saw Lilith talking with Gaston, who's bringing Hawk. Okay, so Gaston is a Crusher class, brawny childhood friend of Slash, a bit antisocial. He's not very fast, is he? Ah, but Hawk. The soldier class, now he's fast. Mentored by Slash and Gaston. Precise, loyal, and dedicated. Okay. Shouldn't be too much. The question is what traps we're gonna get. Um We do need Spike Rock. So let's get Spike Rock. Ooh, pretty sparkly. So pretty Ooh, it's so rocky. Pointy. Hmm, we can't get spring floor anymore. Ah, uh, let's see here. Why don't we get fire arrow? We can make much use of that. Alright. Oh, rolling bomb now. That is something I'm gonna need. But first, I need to get a vase. Yes! Believe it or not, viewer, an attack in here is a vase. And there it is. There's the proof. Alright, uh, we're going to get oil vase next to make use of our fire arrow. Yes, I would like to carry them over. We don't need a regular vase. Okay, so... Oh, that's good. Okay, so... Let's get right down to it. Chapter 3, Pursuit of Friends. Okay. Gaston, do you think Slash was really killed? Probably so. I don't believe it. He can't be dead. Get a grip, Hawk. You'll get us both killed, too. Dot, 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 dot. We're here to avenge Slash, aren't we? Get it together. <laughs> oh, starting off. Okay, alright. I think I will place a landmine there. Fire arrow here. And why don't we do slow rock? Er, slow. Spike rock, sorry bit slow to recharge. Now, my specialty on this game is electricity and magnets, because I know how to use them both to my advantage really nicely. You admit to the murder of fellow human Slash. Okay, I did. Then you're dead. Look at that. It actually lined up pretty nicely. And fire arrow! <laughs> you can't catch me, I'm not the gingerbread. Hmm? Oh, man. You killed my friend. Ow! There goes my damage bonus. It's nothing. Ow! Ow, oh, crap! No! Okay, I'm doing horrible! I'm doing horrible right now! No! Ow! Ah. Not using the loon, not using the loon. I remember I could do this so pro-like. Mm. Gaston, am I dying? Yes. Yes, you are, Hawk. Damn, I was horrible on that match. Ah, I'm, I apologize, viewer. I don't know where my head's at. 
That's King Eclipse's knees, road, dress. <laughs> it's a dress. No, it's not! It's a dress. Fuck you! <laughs> but seriously, though, it looks like a dress. And now we meet the Red Bloods. Alright, so... Let me make some traps. There's two traps I want, but I cannot get this one. I need this, though. Oil vase. See, if you can combine your traps, it can be devastating. Like, what I would do... Let's see, hang on. First, let me get magnet, because I'm definitely going to need that. Ooh, lava vase. Now, what I would do, viewer... I would get, like, this electric volt magnet that would stick to the wall, and it would, you know, pull people to it and electrify them. Then I'd have this floor magnet. After the vault magnet was done, the floor magnet would pull the person to its center, and then I'd release a vault rock on the edge of the magnet, and it would just roll over them back and forth, trying to get pulled into the magnet. And it was just so glorious. Mercenary and coward, afraid to oppose or defy TMD. Gerald, the Night Class, quit army to join Red Blood, relied on by Captain Keith. Rain, the Archer Class, secretly loves another Red Blood member. Hmm, I wonder which member she's in love with. Hint, hint. So, let's start. Chapter 4, Tangled Thoughts. Alright, let's, let's get past this. All of you, all of you not that interesting. Not that interesting, you know. What do we have here? Hi! No TMD to warn, just a frail little human... What? What? I'll... I may be a woman, but I'll have you know I'm a strong, independent woman. Don't need no man with a mace. Alright, alright, let's... Let's take care of you quickly. Right, this room. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to kill you right quick. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Put this here, this here, bear trap here. I can get by with basics, but I'm going to have to change up my loadout near the end. McLord, come hither. That's the sound he made. He's almost dead, too. How do I want to kill him? Oh, I know. I want to get him over here. I want to try this vase out. Ah, he's going to be hobbling, though, isn't he? God, she don't back up too well. Oh! I thought that was supposed to go in his head. Oh well, no matter. You're in oil now. Should catch fire, right? No. Whoops. Well, at least you got to see him slip and fall flat on his face. Right?
Sometimes she goes too fast, I can't even turn the doorways. Mm. You're supposed to be coming over here. Really? You're, you're really not going to come over here? Oh, no, I see. Okay, it's going to be the same as last time. Alright. We have a special present for you, Rain. Hang on, let me just... There we go. gonna come through that door, but I think Gerald's gonna open that door first. When he does, when I hear it open, swing goes the fire. It's just a matter of patience, calculations, and time. Ah, crap. Fire damage! Yes! Sorry, Rain. You were killed by a vase. Now, we gotta get Gerald in the same manner. What a way to go. Death by vase. And then third degree burns. Or something. Alright, come on, Gerald. Come on. We do this, and then we do this. <laughs> and then we do this again. And then once you step on it, boom! And then you get up, and then we fire arrow you. Viewer, we got Gerald, and just in time too. I am running out of time. I only have like a minute left. Ah, uh, no damage bonus. Oh well. Okay. Next, we get to see the villain. One of the main villains, Dead Moon. Who is that? Uh, surprisingly, a guy. And he's talking with Keith, the leader of the Red Bloods, whose troops I just kind of, you know, took care of. Okay, well, and that's his little group, Julia. She'll be next. She will be next. All right. So, thanks for watching, viewer. I'm all out of time. So, if you like this video and you want to see more, you know, 
leave a like or comment or subscribe, whatever, and, you know, I'll get back to you on that if I can. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.